Cox Dredge at El Dorado, operated from 1936 to 1954. At around 2,000 tonnes, it was one of the largest dredges in the Southern Hemisphere. The boom held 118 buckets, each weighing 1.4 tonnes, and held one third of a cubic metre of gravel. With a six-man crew, it operated a 24-hour, six-day week and could be heard from 20 kilometres away. In 20 years operation, it produced over 70 ounces of gold and 1.3 tonnes of tin. More than 30 million cubic metres of gravel passed through the dredge. Wattle blooms are about the only gold you get these days. All the waste was released out the back, allowing the dredge to move away from the river and its own pond. So this boom extended to about 30 metres. And the buckets would bring up the gold bearing ore from down below. The boom could be raised and lowered via these pulleys. We've all had better days, could use a bit of a service. big winches down here. So we've still got a bit of access in here. I haven't been in here now for 20 years, so we'll see how much is all locked up. But we'll try and show you what's inside. So all these levers were used to do the operations on the boom, whether that's to raise it or lower it or make the buckets work or not work. I'd assume move the winches for hauling the, um, the whole barge left and right and so on. Gravel was raised to a tumbler that with water separated the rock and mud from the gold bearing ore. A vibrating plate then settled the dense product. Tin concentrate was removed via a magnet and the gold amalgamated with mercury. Powered by electricity, it was the third largest drain on Victoria behind Melbourne and Geelong.